it's literally nothing it means nothing it does nothing and i think tuchul is basically just doing this to distract everyone from the real incident which is the saka penalty which is uh, much more of like a debate so sid mentioned something interesting um, previously about the penalty incidences in this game i know Arsenal Twitter was talking a lot and then Tuchel surprisingly shone light on something that we all missed in the game. Uh first AJ is that a penalty? Bro okay, I let me start it this way. Referee had a good game, okay? So let's keep that as a fact and keep that aside for all the decisions that we're going to talk about. So I'm not criticizing referee. Uh and it was a penalty by the books, but if that was given and if anybody in the world takes that as an excuse for you know whatever they need really need to look at themselves in the mirror and be like are you for real like tukel is fine because he's the manager he's come out and defending his team but then i see a few of bayern exec uh, executives coming in and like saying the same thing and i'm like dude a penalty has a meaning to it like it is given when the defending team has an gains an unfair advantage out of some something right so morally generally and like whatever by the books it is yeah sure by the books it is a penalty but it's never given and if and that's for any team like any team in the world i don't care if it's like the most hated team is chelsea or united but like it's just not a penalty anywhere in the world so let's just bury it and not talk about it ever again cool so raya is just going to keep passing the ball and saliba is just going to keep picking it up or gabriel whoever yeah even I, even i even i i'm willing to do it if it's pass accuracy Percent pass accuracy. So, uh, you know, when, bro, what if this was the Champions League final and Arsenal was playing Bayern? Like Bayern did the same thing against Arsenal. Uh, I have no trust problem. Me, I, so the only yeah, me, no uh, problem. Okay. the simple, simple. I'm I think this, guys on that. the yeah. I mean, it's if it gains any advantage to Bayern, sure, that's a debating point. But this hmm. doesn't gain any advantage to Arsenal. It's literally nothing. True. It means nothing. It does nothing. It's, it's, it's absolutely just a stupid thing to even like dwell over. and i think tuchul is basically just doing this to distract everyone from the real incident which is the saka penalty which is uh, a much more of like a debate than this kiddish thing yeah this this is not worth debating i mean okay since uh, i'm i'm going to ask the person who flip flopped on this the most nira is saka as a penalty bro yeah 100% pen 100% so <laughs> i'll tell you the reason also why i flip flopped when i saw it for the first time and the angles that they were showing it from it definitely looked like uh once saka took that turn his right leg kind of goes into noyer uh, but then i saw it again and again and again i heard many opinions i heard different things and now my view is that noyer is not static at all he is coming into the play he is actually putting his leg out more than saka has put his leg out and there is a point of time where saka can't evade that so he naturally saka the problem with what saka did is towards the end he did a little bit too much he, if he, even mm-hmm. if he would have stayed static noyer would have taken him out it was that it was that fast and it was that small of a gap so yeah. i i think that's any day of any week that's a pen because what else can you do at that point said is nodding i want to go to him yeah no so i think saka outstretched still like far too much and It's pointless to say what would have happened if he had not done it, but the fact that he went out for the penalty and Neuer wasn't that fast to be honest. Saka was the faster one, yes. He was out of control, yes. Neuer has every right to go for the ball to defend his goal, and he is not charging at Saka at an unreasonable pace or like to foul him or anything. I think Saka just took the bait and went into Neuer like whenever he could, and I think that is. It's it's doesn't really look like a penalty when you look at it close up, although like in instant replays might say otherwise. But I don't think it's a penalty at all. AJ agrees with uh, said he told me on like a direct text message. Bro, all I care about is Alian Zarina. Bring it on, we'll. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm glad it happened. Uh, Saka would be like I haven't seen Saka that furious, and I don't think Saka is a cheat. Like in terms of like. He's not one of those players who will dive around and will flip flop and like try to buy decisions. He generally gets beat up and then he get, gets up and then he just walks around and plays his yeah. game. So, uh, yeah, sure, whatever it is. I mean, in, in my opinion, it was a penalty. Uh, Neuer was moving like Neuer. Obviously, Neuer wasn't as fast as Saka was because they're obviously the motives are different, right? But uh, 
if you if you if you see the replay, Noel planted his foot as soon as the ball went past him, and Saka was there. So he was he knew what he was doing. Like he just timed it really really well, and <laughs> and maybe like that's what saved him. And and whatever it is, it was a penalty, but. I'm glad it happened. Uh, we'll hmm. get to see the true star. Ultimately, at the end of the and day, um, and uh, all these other Cole Palmers of the world. So win for football. Will... <laughs> Ultimately, at the <laughs> end of the day, the coaching staff and Arteta haven't complained, so we don't care. Honestly, yeah. Right. Same, like it's not yeah. like Newcastle. Everyone was angry. Yeah. This is chill. Yeah. This, this is also like a new thing for Arteta, right? He said for every decision he said I didn't see, I didn't see it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen yeah. it. He knows he knows he haram ball is yeah. coming, dude. He he knows the yeah, he's preparing right. for the haram ball right now. He, we yeah. don't have to Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> cool. That's a wrap on our Arsenal Bayern game. We'll see. Harry Kane was a red card though. <clears throat> Time by it. Why just for walking on Emirates Arena and like scoring a goal? Like or existing. Harry Kane has scored the highest number of goals against Arsenal, right? And and Tottenham as well, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Ten of them. Ah, ninety percent of them are like fluke penalties. So yeah, sure. <laughs> you you know who does this, by the way? He did it at your pitch, no? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Twice in extra time. Oh, Hat trick, bro. Hat trick, for this, for, for this, just uh, fun trivia. Who do you think has scored the highest number of goals against Man United? Salah. Yeah. Goals. Yeah. Salah. Yeah, Salah. Oh, Salah. <clears throat> cool. Uh, let's not talk about United because we are un- in- irrelevant for these <laughs> conversations. <clears throat> for the first and for every other conversation, like how Arsenal were for the last seven years, we will get there uh, later. But. Let's I, talk. I genuinely like relish the fact that we live in the Both. present and not in the past. Both. We've been doing that, and it hurts. So maybe you can continue doing yeah, that. We'll talk the next about time it after the season ends, bro. Move on. The next time we do principles, I'll tell you that. I'll be sure to tell you that, bro. Next time we do principles. Uh, 